hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showcasing how i made these beautiful mirrored products just using cardboard and some mirror tiles if you're interested in seeing how i made them keep on watching for the first project i used this waste cardboard tube that i got from dustbin and i'll be making something beautiful out of it so first of all i started by cutting it into the size that i needed for my project the height that I used for this project was 15 centimeters. So after taking the measurements, I went ahead and used my flexible ruler to join in the points that I had marked earlier. After making the line, I went ahead and took my hacksaw blade and cut off the cardboard that I needed for the project. After cutting the piece of cardboard, I went ahead and sprayed it using the black spray paint. I used two coats of the black spray paint and after it was dry, this is how it turned out. To decorate this piece of cardboard, I had to use some mirror tiles I got from Nafu Glam Deco. I'll be decorating all around the cardboard. I also used some rhinestone wrap onto my project. I'll put the link in the description box. The mirror tail is a bit flexible so to remove the part that I needed from the whole tile I had to cut off using my piece of scissors so I had to remove some excess net so as they are not visible onto the cardboard. Due to the protective part on the mirror tail I had to bend the mirror tails one at a time so as to make it easier to bend all around the cardboard tube so that's why I had to like bend it so as to make it easier to glue it down on a round shape I used the hot glue to stick down the mirror tile all around the cardboard tube as you can see there's some gap being left by the mirror tile but I had to sort it out later onto the second part I had to add the rhinestone wrap and since the rhinestone app is not self-adhesive, I had to use the hot glue to stick down the rhinestone onto the cardboard tube. For those who are joining my channel for the first time, my name is Roxy Nimiz. I normally do DIY based on home decor. If you're interested in seeing more of my videos, please, please don't forget to subscribe and also click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a new video. I normally post my videos on Saturdays currently, so you can just put on your notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a video on the Saturday. After gluing down the rhinestone wrap, I went ahead and proceeded to the last part which was adding the second part of the mirror tile on the cardboard. I used the hot glue to stick down the mirror tile all round. You can also use silicone glue for this part. After decorating the cardboard tube, this is how it turned out. I also had to add the rhinestone onto the gaps and also some bling onto the space which had been left before by the mirror tiles. I proceeded by removing the protective film of the mirror tile and this is how it turned out. On the top part of my candle holder, this is what I added. I added a glass. I'll put the link in the description box where I got this glass. So I had to use some adhesive glue to hold the glass onto the top of my candle holder. I used the B7000 adhesive glue to stick down the glass onto the top of my candle holder. If you're interested in the satin glue, I'll also put the contact in the description box onto where you can get a similar glue. I proceeded to place the glass on top of my candle holder and left it overnight to dry and finally guys this is the end look of my beautiful candle holder just using cardboard 
tube this is how the candle holder has turned out let me know in the comment section what you think about this simple project i've just made using cardboard and some mirror tiles On my second project, I'll be recycling this cardboard box that I wasn't using it anymore. It had come with a bulb, so instead of throwing it away, I had kept it for a certain project. So I had to stick down the flaps inside the cardboard so as to make it more firmer. After gluing down the flaps, I went ahead and sprayed my cardboard using a black spray paint. I had to use two coats of black spray paint so as to cover the color of the cardboard and this is how it turned out. I then proceeded to the next part which was decorating my cardboard. I used 4 inch by 4 inch mirror tiles. I also put the link in the description box i also added some rice stone wraps to decorate my cardboard i'll put the link in the description box too i went ahead and took the measurements of the middle part of my cardboard so as to guide me on where to place the rhinestone wrap after making the markings i went ahead and took my first rhinestone wrap and i had to glue it down all round the cardboard using the hot glue since it's not self adhesive after that i went ahead to glue down the mirror tiles first of all i had to place them into the position that i wanted onto the cardboard I went ahead and glued them down using the hot glue all round. You can also use silicone for this part but I preferred to use the hot glue since it dries faster. I had to glue down my mirror tiles all round the cardboard. After adding the mirrors, there are some gaps which were left, so I had to use the second type of rhinestone, which is self-adhesive, to cover the spaces which were left by the mirror tiles. You can also leave your spaces like that if you don't like a lot of bling. Since I didn't like the boxes being seen, I had just to cover it all round using the bling wrap. And to my returning subscribers, I would love to say thank you so much guys for supporting Roxinimis. Thank you for watching my videos and also for sharing my videos with friends and family. And for those who still watch my videos and they haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Many people have been interested in some DIY classes. I'm still working on that. Once the classes are ready, I'll put the link on how to join my classes on one of my videos. I'll inform you guys when the classes are ready to start. I'll also love to say there's a thank button on the YouTube channel for those who'd love to support Roxy Nimi so that she can continue posting her DIY videos. You can just press on the thank button and you can support me with the little amount of money that you have. After adding the rhinestones all round, this is how my cardboard has turned out and it's a vase. I just love how the bling has turned out. And finally guys, this is the end look of my cardboard with some flowers inside. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this simple vase that I've just made using some mirror tiles and also rhinestone wraps. This transformation is just to show you how you can recycle some of the cardboard that you have at home. So instead of throwing away some cardboard, you can turn them into beautiful decal items. 
on to my third project and my last project i used this piece of cardboard to transform it into a beautiful tissue holder the measurements of the cuttings i'll put them in the description box if you're interested in making a similar tissue holder I then proceeded to the next part which was making the box for the tissue holder. So I had to glue down the cardboard together and I used hot glue for this part. Measurements of the frame of the tissue holder that I made I will also put it in the description box if you're interested in redoing this project. It's one of easier way to recycle the cardboards instead of throwing away your cardboards you just put them you can recycle them into something more reusable in the house to make the frame of my tissue holder more stronger i had to add enough amount of hot glue on the inner part of the tissue holder frame once I was done, I went ahead and sprayed it two coats of black spray paint and this is how it turned out when the black spray paint had dried. To decorate my tissue holder, I had to use these mirror tiles that I got from Nafu Glam Deco. The measurement of one tile goes 3 cm by 30 cm. I also used 3 by 6 cm mirror tiles also on this part. They are smaller ones and they are beveled all round. And also I used 3 cm by 10 cm mirror tiles to decorate my tissue holder. Instead of buying all those types of mirror tiles, you can also buy the 3 by 30 cm mirror tile and cut it into smaller pieces for this project. After that I proceeded in placing the mirror tiles onto the pattern that I wanted for the tissue box. I then glued down the mirror tiles one at a time onto the frame of my tissue box. After gluing down the mirror tiles all round, I proceeded to add the rhinestone wrap onto the middle part of my mirror tiles. I did the same thing onto the other side of the tissue holder but this other side I used 10 by 3 and 3 by 6 that's 3 by 6 and 3 by 10 centimeters mirror tiles and then on the middle part I added some rhinestones for the decoration part and this is how my tissue box turned out after adding the mirror tiles all around and the rhinestone to cover the top part of the cardboard I had to use some bling wrap to cover the cardboard from being visible on the top part. To make sure the rhinestone wrap holds well onto the cardboard, I had to add some hot glue so as to make sure it lasts there for a longer time. And after adding the rhinestone wrap all around, this is how the tissue box has turned out. I love how it was so pretty and the glowing of the rhinestone wraps. I took measurements of the top part of the tissue holder so as to know the size that I required to cover my tissue holder. After cutting the cardboard that I needed, I went ahead and placed the mirror tiles that I'll be using to decorate the top part of my tissue holder so as to guide me on where to cut the opening of the tissue holder. The measurements that I used for this part, I'll put them in the description box. So I had to make some pointing on each edge of the top part of the tissue holder and joined in the lines. Once I had joined in the lines, I got the part which I'll be cutting open and this is how it turned out. After this, I went ahead and sprayed the cardboard black and proceeded to decorate it using the mirror tiles that I We'll put the measurements in the description box to cover the cardboard. 
just as I did onto the other part of the tissue holder I used hot glue to glue down the mirror tile all round and then used the rhinestone to cover the opening part of the cardboard and this is how the top part of my tissue holder turned out as you can see just use the same pattern as I used on this side of the bottom part of the tissue holder I used mirror tiles and rhinestones to decorate the cardboard you can use some hinges if you want the box to be opening like that but I preferred just placing the top part without using the hinges to cover the bottom part of the tissue holder to avoid maybe if you're placing it somewhere there's water I used the gold contact paper I didn't have another color so I had to use the gold one and after placing the tissue this is how my tissue holder turned out and how the tissues will come off the tissue holder after cleaning down the mirror tiles guys this is how the end look of my tissue holder has turned out I had to look for a place whereby I could capture this beauty very well so I had to place it on a white table and this is how it has turned out let me know in the comment section what you think about this simple project that I have just made using cardboard and some mirror tiles let me know in the comment section if you really love this outlook and also let me know which of the three projects is your favorite thank you so much guys for watching my videos don't forget to click on the notification bell and also to subscribe for those who haven't subscribed watch out for more of my videos at the end screen and bye bye guys see you next time for a new video